Hi, I'm Rusty Komori, and this is Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. I was the head coach of the Punahou Boys varsity tennis team for 22 years, and we were fortunate to win 22 consecutive state championships. This show is based on my books, Beyond the Lines and Beyond the Game, and it's about leadership, teamwork, and creating a superior culture of excellence. My special guest today is a very successful leader and general manager of Noi Thai Cuisine in Waikiki. She is Tawaya, Tawaya D. Ford, and today we are going beyond exquisite dining. Hey, Koi, welcome to the show. Thank you for having us, you know, having me today. Now, your you first doing? name is Tawaya D., but everyone calls you Koi, right? Yes, right. So it's like a hard for everybody to remember my first name on that Tayawadi. Koi is my nickname on my family. My friend called me that uh -huh. and instead of Tayawadi. Yes. Uh -huh. And Koi, tell, can you tell me about a bit about your background growing up and then how you ended up becoming the general manager yes. in, uh, in Hawaii? Sure. So um, I'm growing up in Thailand, in Bangkok, study there. My family is middle class. My dad is CEO on the big uh, company, Prywood there. My mom is teacher. So when we I study computer side, finish on the computer side, but I'm working on my um, my um, career only three months and just turned to marketing, turning to secretary of one company, which is Five Boss. And they sent me over to work in Los Angeles. And I feel like, oh my God, this is good. My mom don't have to call me back. Mom not call me what time you're coming home, anything like that, because I'm the youngest daughter in the family. On a Thai culture, the daughter is like a very kind of protecting. You cannot go out to play. You cannot go anywhere longer than, you know, coming home early like that and say, well, state is nice. Mom don't have to call me. So when I go back home, I just like, you know, mom, um, I want to go back um, to study more in in state if possible. So it's just like, okay, mom just like, really? And say, yes, I will do it. I left mom and dad and came here, which was 20 years ago without taking their money and starting to find a job, you know, in San Francisco. And I got the first job is dishwasher. Um, on that time, 20 years, which is you have to do three things dishwasher not the washing machine because that, that's a restaurant i'm working they don't have it um that's the washing machine and all the way grew up everything position in the restaurant i know and to go up to the um hawaii i live in san francisco about 18 years and my husband which is we met um in san francisco airport while doing i'm working there like so many when you see each other in the first and you're like that's right that's my that's your something like that yeah so the first day and we just like okay we fall in love uh-huh so he came from he from hawaii and you know i'm visiting hawaii i like it the culture is almost the same in thailand and then the time which is he have to come back to work i just like you know what i still love san francisco let me stay in san francisco a little bit before before i'm change my career go back go to a mental career change my living to hawaii so yes i came to hawaii with him like three years ago and studying like looking for the job, which is like, a, oh, well, what am I gonna do? Back a lot of restaurant in Hawaii, anything like that. But one of the CEO in Noi Thai, just like, a, you know what, we need help. You want to do helping us and say, yeah, sure. Why not? I'll try to help what I can. So that's why I become to work with Noi Thai, like a stunning from host to food run, um, to bartender, to server, and become an assistant manager and a manager since right now. Yes, it's Koi, a lot. Sorry. <laughs> yes, Koi. It's it's absolutely amazing. You know what? You know how you started in the industry as a dishwasher, and to make it all the way to general manager now. And and the other week when I came into your restaurant, I felt so happy to be able to meet your husband and your son. Yeah. And you have such a beautiful family. They're so nice. And they must really love your cooking, right? They're lucky. Yeah, they love my cooking. So when we at home, 
I have to prepare like four or five dish for the Thai food for my husband. But my son is just like, oh, mommy, your chicken is the best. Your fried chicken is the best. You know, we we come to the restaurant because they love Thai food. My husband, um, they claim they're Asian, but he's, you know, they claim they're Asian. That's why he can eat Thai food a lot. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, they're they're absolutely fantastic. And and Koi, you know, I absolutely love the, your food at, at Noi Thai. I need to have the lobster tom yum. I need to have the curries, among others. I mean, the dishes are absolutely incredible. Now, why? what is it that makes Noi Thai restaurant so unique? Okay, so people thought one thing is about Thai food. It might be state food, you know, easy to find. But the Thai food is it's not easy to cook. Some curry is take a long time to cook, like maybe an hour to baking um, on the, what do you call that? Sauce of chili place, the coconut milk to break it. It's all the herb in there. So Noi Thai cuisine, uh, we serving as the Royal Thai cuisine, which is we have to be um, the good on the food and beyond and customer service. That's why it's a goal for us and make a Noi Thai successful. That. Well, it's, and Koi, it's like there's needs and wants. I mean, I actually need those dishes. I mean, it's so, yeah. it's so good. I crave it. And, and I love how, you know, you do some of these wine pairings with those dishes. I mean, it just really makes a, a great experience. Yes. So the thing for me is because I'm from San Francisco and I into the why, which is like, you know, when I first met my husband, my our first date is in Napa, we on a wine tasting together. I was just like, oh, I learned a wine from my husband and learn a wine um, from the uh, work, what I worked before in San Francisco, right? And then I was like, hey, we should be adapt with the Thai food because Thai food have a lot of flavor. Why is to have a lot of flavor on that also? How is become to be together between Thai food and why to be matching? Not like you come to the high restaurant, I don't know what I drink, maybe a beer. No, we have to want to expand out to everybody to know. So why can be good with Thai food? Sake can be good with Thai food. It's not only the beer or cocktail, you know, like that. And I personally like to drink and find a way, which is how the smell on the wine, the grape, and what is texture, color on that is acknowledged. It's a never end. Well, I absolutely love it. And I, 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 I'm looking forward to my next dining experience there. And, and Koi, you've had a lot of celebrities that, that have come to your restaurant. I mean, including President Obama and Shark Tank's Robert Herjavich, I mean, and many others. How, how does that make you feel that these celebrities come into your restaurant and they just really enjoy your, your dining experience? We, we are very happy to serve everybody and it makes sure I'll be so proud when they're happy to dine with us, you know. So when they repeat, which is me, like, you know, our food is good, our customer service is good, you know, which is that that's a goal for us, goal for me, goal for everybody already. Uh-huh. We will be exciting when we have like a celebrity coming or sometime we don't know is who that person that looks similar and we find out, oh my God. They want to come into uh, to join with us without telling who they are, you know. So very exciting and so proud for us, you know. It's like it's like a big surprise, huh? Yes, exactly, exactly. Like a big surprise for us. Uh-huh. Now, Koi, I want to ask you, you know, during the pandemic, what did you do to adapt and adjust to really try to survive during the pandemic? Yeah, we have to change. We lost a lot of my, my staff in the front of the house, you know, and we have to adapt to let every staff to be working with us. We changing from dining to to go order to delivery order to uh, and uh, when we can open the restaurant, we got the support. We we got the support from the all the local people. And during a time, the Royal Hawaiian was an ally a lot, helping us on the um, what do you call that the the rent rent contra- rent for us. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. And also is the 
the main um, office in Seattle helping us to promote. We have PR Marketing Mona Wood helping us to expand what is uh, people know us so much about, know about us in Hawaii. So that's, we try our best to stay on, you know, to make sure people know we want to serve everyone. We try to help people, which is, um, you know, in the first, when we close this island, no money, no working in the industrial hotel, everything. We wrote a price to help people, which is in Hawaii to can afford to try to tie, tie our food on that. We just become with a bento ten dollar menu. People will love it because at least they can spend like twenty dollar for the whole day for the meal on that. That's with helping, you know. On the, yes, and then that's re- coming to it's refresh. I'm um, not refresh. Return to us after pandemic happening. After that, people just like, oh, I tried this restaurant already. I want to come back to eat again. Uh huh. Yes. Well, that's that's so good. I mean, that's why you're a great leader because you guys have to find ways to adapt and adjust to really not just survive, but you know, come out of it. Yeah. And now you guys are thriving. But you're you have an award winning restaurant. I mean, you have such a great team that you guys all work well together. Mm-hmm. Now, how does that make you feel when you win some of these awards? It's so proud and it's like, you know, you feel like, okay, you're working hard. It turned out in a good, in a good way. You know, I try, I do what I do is, um, I treat the restaurant as I own and I, I want everyone to come to the restaurant as they want to be at home and get served, you know? So like, how do you want to get served when you go out to eat? That's the way you have to serve like to customer like that. The food is uh, fantastic. You know, I like the food. I eat the food in the restaurant every day. I make sure the food is right um, um, quality to come out to customer. But sometimes I have to say I'm apologize. Sometimes we sound so busy. We try to get the order out, but sometimes it's missing anything like that. But we try our best to get to, get to same quality every food to come out. That's what it, yes. Mm-hmm. Now, Koi, you know, how you mentioned earlier that y- you have worked in every position in the restaurant, basically, yes. and and that that really allows you to have respect from all of your team members because they know that you understand every part of the business that they're dealing with, that they're experiencing. Now, that's that's really valuable, right? Yeah, that's very valuable because, you know, I start from the dishwasher, go up to helper in the kitchen, go up to the chef, go out um, when I'm done, go out to the bus boy, serve on a server, become do bookkeeping, grocery shopping to know how it's cost, what the food is, and then, you know, um, running on as a man, uh, as a manager in small restaurant. Um, being t- uh, 20 year in restaurant business, I work only four restaurant in, in my turn, um, 20 years that. So each restaurant, it's just like, okay, the way you work, so we don't want you to go anywhere. anywhere. So I respect um, all the worker to work because the same thing I did um, because I've been passed before. I know what they go through, what they hardworking are they, everything like that. So that's why I just like a feel, okay, I have to get my heart to them, to feeling them, to support them, earn the trust, and earn the like you know keep them with me uh-huh, to make sure it's like you know I trust you, I be on your side, I understand what what happened to you, I understand, I try to help what I can. Still, right now, every, every position in the restaurant, like last time you you came to the restaurant, you say where is going? People are just like oh she might be in the kitchen. So that's what I have to like, okay, let's go through with that. Any position we need to fill up, I have to go hell. Still dishwasher, my first job, I still do that right now too. No, and, and you're right, because when I came in the last time, they said that you were in, in the back uh, cooking to really help with what was happening because basically every table was taken and, and you were just... 
I mean, you do it all, Koi, right? Yes, yes, yeah. Well, that's what make a restaurant running. So you have you can fill every position you can to helping them to get successful from you know on the business they're doing, the work they're doing done. Uh, you cannot like, oh, I don't want to do that. Or it's finger cost to a finger point to everybody. You do it, and you will, they will see. It's like, a, oh, she do it. Well, we have to do it too. One of my boss teaching me, you know, telling me and say, hey, remember one thing is you have one head, two hands and two legs. You can do it. Different person can do it the same way too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, I, I like that you, you lead by example. If something needs to be done, I mean, you mm -hmm. do it. And, yeah. and that sets the standard for all of your team members to want to do it. And Koi, I want to ask you, besides COVID, what are some challenges that you deal with with your business? Oh, yes. The challenge for us is how can we make um, personal staff to be on the same team, challenge to make everybody is a professional. And food costs in Hawaii, everybody know is high food cost for us. How can we do to make a food cost is like, you know, low down and still serve on a good quality for customer, you know, and we're looking for the corporate, working with the corporate to making um, successful on the name of brand name of restaurant business, you know, and creating culture between front of the house staff and back of the house staff have to be the same team together. That's what you know, we have to do together to make successful on a business. Yeah. And it's it's a never ending job. I mean, it's constant, you know, oh, to really keep these details on. Right. Exactly. Is, you know, when you get into the restaurant business, when you get into have to be um, what they call it, like in chat on one business, your day off, it doesn't mean you off. You're still working. Even though you're not in a restaurant, but you're still working, your mind is still thinking for everything, you know, go that. Never end, never end job. When you, when you create this job and you solve the problem, this job, another problem coming up, another challenge coming up for you to, to create, to learn, to, um, to learn and to solve the problem. That's, that's what it is, you know, on a business. Uh huh. Yeah. You're, you're, you're so right about that. And Koi, I mean, you obviously, you're a very successful leader. How, how would you describe your leadership style? Um, how can I dis um, describe the uh, leadership style? So I earn trust for everyone. And I clear communication have to be sure between back of the house, front of the house, or everybody. Anything have to be adapting to work like this person coming as a host, but she good with something else like a food runner. We have to exchange that on this person when I be bartender, but they're good with customer service. We have to moving people around. So I... For my thing, I um, would say like, you know, I do trust with them and then team, uh, trust the team, give them a fair, you know, fair, um, also, what can I say? The worst is like, you know, I trust my, um, my, what do you call that? Um, my fail to be like, you know, um, persevere for everything. You know, mm -hmm. perseverance. I mean, that that's for sure. I, I like how you said trust and and really you're what you were saying, too, is you're trying to put your people in the in the right positions to really mm -hmm. make use of their strengths. Right. Yes, that's right. Sometimes it's happened like, you know, we not we cannot find we just thought we can they can do that. But when the time coming, they say, OK, I'm good on a on bartender. But the time coming, they not really go faster or doing way the way it is maybe have to like hey let's try to be server you can talk to the customer is but the way better for you or another position sometimes like i still thinking my job as general manager i want to go back to be server because i think i'm good on that i'll be working for that for 18 years i'm good to sell customer like can you try that wine like you and try like hey try that try this kind of food is matching with that that's Everybody is, you know, um, different, you know, different on the opinion, different on the, the way they 
they got scale on that. And yeah. Koi, I want to ask you about my books. You, you have both of my books now. And yes. what are some concepts or principles that really stood out to you in my books? Important in communication, means for, you know, for means on that. Working hard or calm, especially miscommunication and misunderstanding, you know, that's very important on that. If you communicate with one people and they go communicate to another person, but what the first your communication to the second person get lost in translation. That is not support, it's not the way they are. Sometimes when you write it down and when you talk, it's different. You know, me that's make misunderstanding, it make a problem, make is drama, everything. So for me, I would love to be direct to the person when I want to talk to, not keep to like a oh, talk to that person for me. I know is they might miss communication on that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also concept, as I say, told you on concept on adapting teamwork, you know, adapting work, you can do what's the goal for each other and uh, the skill for each other with a different on that. Yes. Mm -hmm. I love hearing that you brought up the four misses. I mean, because that's so important to avoid those four misses so that you can, you know, continue on to achieve the goals that you want. And and yeah, and Koi, what do you what do you feel some of the greatest leaders do? Because we've all been on teams before and we mm -hmm. observed the leader was good or bad. What do you feel some of the greatest leaders do? Mm, on that is I think you have to show them what you can do and by example, you know. That's what I think it should do and make sure your staff understanding um, your team is um, understanding any questions, just asking to make sure to be clear. But that's a communication, all this, you know, thing. Yeah. To be, no, uh, I like yeah. that because you're, you know, you're saying that, you know, I mean, to have the open communication yes. you know, going both ways, um, mm -hmm. that's, and, and then to really lead by example, right? Exactly. The lead by example you do, if you lead by example, they say, why can you do that? What about me? I can do that too, right? I'm just like, um, um, I don't think this is a good one. So we have to, we have to go, you know, we have to follow together. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Koi, professionally or personally, What's a big adversity that you dealt with in your life? Oh my God. You know, when we first married, we, I miss Carrie. That is so bad for me, but it's tied out a year to get, right now I have the great food, my son Owen. So that does make me so happy right now. And I'm so wife from the cancer, breast cancer. That's what's good. It's from the family, and parents, you know, and friends to helping me to get that. Uh -huh. But Miss Carrie with the first child, which we really wanted, is hard for me. So hard. Yeah. But I'm grateful right now. I'm great the best child in the world for me. Yes. Oh, he's he's such a great, great boy. And no, uh, thank yes. you for sharing that because there's so many other people in the world that, you know, have dealt with situations like like you have. And Koi, I want to I want to ask what what's the best advice you ever received? You know, as of my parents, my dad is a yoga company and he teaching me when I grew up, we already see how is dad dealing with all his worker, um, all his staff. Mom have to be helping dad on coordinate together which is okay, enjoy to um, bring the people come over to get them to know them. Uh -huh. And my parents is still advise me on a business job, on my, uh, including my husband also. You know, we talk on the work a lot on that. We know what we should deal with, how we're going to deal with the thing, you know. One time my dad came to visit me in San Francisco five years after I'm leaving San Francisco. And my mom's just telling me like, you know what? I saw you working so hard. Why don't you go back home? We have everything for you. You have a house, you have a car. I find a job for you. And my dad, which is like, hey, 
you have been here for five years. You are on the back of tiger. You cannot get down. You have to go forward. And that's just like I'm saying, wow, I'm surprised that because I'm only one daughter and you're for you. And he said, you have to go. You have to do it. I trust you. I believe on you. You can do it. I have to say right now, my dad and my mom are so proud of me, which is what I do, what I build. I'm successful on a business right now. They just like a, like a, I told you, he says, you can do it. You can do it. You know, that's think- it. Yeah. Yeah, I think they saw, you know, how hard you work and the potential that you have and, and, you know, for them to really keep pushing you forward like that. And, and Koi, when you ref, when you reflect back on your life so far, what's a very important lesson you learned? Um, you know, I would say what an important lesson I learned, I learned how to be strong how to solve the problem myself how to think forward not think backward think about future think about um positive not negative or anything and people tell you you bad whatever it's fine we'll change that uh uh-huh. on the in the um what we're doing try to do the best we can you know uh uh-huh. on that learn the problem before how we're going to solve the problem in the future if happen like this what is we going to do you know remember and do that yes. yeah because like you're saying it, it's a mindset and and yeah. we all have a choice to really choose to be positive or choose to be negative right Exactly, exactly. That's right. So we can choose to be negative or positive, but if you choose to be negative, it's in your mind and you just like cannot let it go. If you think positive, okay, fine, we'll do it the best next time, we'll do it better. You mind is happy and go forward and you just like, you know, you're happy with that. Uh huh. I would say, yeah. I, I agree with you because I always tell told my players, hey, let's only do things that's going to help us win because there's mm-hmm. so many people that do things that help them lose. And, yes. you know, it, it common sense is, hey, let's only do things that help you win. And Koi, I, I want to really thank you for joining me on the show today and really sharing your insights about why you're a successful leader and why Noi Thai cuisine is, is thriving. So really thank you for taking time today. No problem. Thank you so much for having me, though. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I'll see you soon. And sure, thank you. I'll see you soon. Yes, thank you. I'll see you soon, too. Thank you, Koi. And I thank know. you <laughs> for watching Beyond the Lines on Think Tech Hawaii. For more information, please visit RustyKomori.com. And my books are available on Amazon and Barnes & Noble. I hope that Koi and I will inspire you to create your own superior culture of excellence and to find your greatness and help others find theirs. Aloha.